Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. Kanala Sirako here. For those of you who don't know who I am, welcome to my channel. Um, so before I get started, there's a few things I wanted to show you guys. Um, first of all, the dried results of last um, video's painting. So here it is, and it is so shimmery and super, super pretty. So this piece is on a 20 by 24 inch canvas, and it has sold. Uh, it sold pretty much right away after um, I aired the video on YouTube and I had a bunch of people asking for it, but it's first come first serve. So um, this will get a top coat of crystal resin. Now keep in mind, if you do like this piece, um, I could always do another one. Um, I could change the size of the canvas if you want, tweak up the colors. I am taking commissions. So if anyone is interested in any piece in particular with special colors of your own, I can do that. Just email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com. Next thing I wanted to mention, once again, I've teamed up with Loli Veffy and we are doing a spring fling um, special. Um, so if you are subscribed to their newsletter from their website, you would already know um, that the Spring Fling Box um, is on sale right now. And if you have already bought one, great. There's only 50 available. And last I heard, there's only about 25 left. So I will put a picture right here of what is uh, entailed into this Spring Fling Box. You get a mega square mat, you get five squeeze bottles, you get 10 storage cups, a spatula, a palette knife, and a gold and silver metallic marker. And uh, I believe you get the little caddy as well. So that is a total of $108.50 and you can get it for as low as $80 on the website, but if you put in my code of Canela10, you can save an additional 10% off. So that is a pretty good deal. There's only a handful left. So if you have not heard about the sale or you're not subscribed to the Loli Veffy website for newsletters and emails for promotions and upcoming sales, I suggest you do that. That way you're notified and you get an email every time a sale happens on the Loli Veffy website. So keep that in mind. There's only a handful left. Get them while you can. I think it's a great deal. Um, I'm also going to show you guys dried results of some of my paintings that have been top coated with resin. We had a beautiful, nice sunny day yesterday. So I took some video of those pieces in the sunlight. I will put them either after the intro or at the end of the video. I just haven't figured that out yet. But stick around and stay tuned to see those videos. They just shine in the sunlight. They're so pretty. And last thing I want to mention is don't forget, Tammy and I are doing the Fluid Art Escape uh, Workshop in Naples, Florida this July, July 9th and 10th. Um, we are almost sold out. Uh, last I checked, we had about five spots left. Um, so that is it. So if you are interested in information or you would like to sign up, you can email us at fluidartescape at gmail.com for all the info and details. Um, okay, so today's painting is going to be a special painting. I am doing a painting um with the ukrainian colors of blue and yellow we all know what is going on with uh everything that's happening in ukraine um it's so sad to see what is going on over there and um you know i sit and i watch cnn with my husband every day and at night and i just i cannot imagine what these poor people are going through so I wanted to do a video and a painting and a tribute to Ukraine. And um, I am, when this, plate, when this piece is done and finished, um, it will be available for purchase. And all the proceeds, all the proceeds from the sale of this painting will go and be donated, will be donated to um, a Ukrainian um, 
uh, organization. Um, I will find one. I will, I, I'm pretty sure I know which one and I will donate all the proceeds to the foundation to help um, with everything that's going on in Ukraine. I really hope this stuff ends and they can, I, I, it's just so sad. I don't even want to talk about it. It's going to make me upset. So I'm going to um, put you guys down on the canvas. I'm going to set myself up and we're going to get started on today's painting. Be right back. everybody I am ready to go here so what I have here is a 16 by 20 inch canvas and uh, I'm going to be flooding it my base colors are going to be uh, brilliant blue by Amsterdam as well as primary yellow by Amsterdam so those are my base colors all right and I have them mixed here in these cups, I just mix them and I just realized I don't have my torch. I best get my torch. All right, so I've got them here in these cups and I also have them here in squeeze bottles so that I can do my edges. And let me get my torch. I'm hooked up to a cord here. I haven't charged my microphone. All right. So I've got the base colors here 
and I've got my colors. And if you want to know how I mix my paints, you can check out my new video um, that is just recently updated with how I mix my paints, video number 434. I will link it up here at the top for those of you who are new watching. All right, so I'm going to do obviously a color split. And what I'm going to do is I'm not, we all know yellow and blue make green. So I have to try real hard not to mix my yellow and my blue to make green. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna succeed in this or not. I'm going to do my best and try. But the colors I'm going to use to blow out are simply gonna be plain colors of pearl blue by Amsterdam, which looks obviously white, but on a darker base, it will shine a color. And then um, pearl yellow. I'll be using, and then I'm gonna use some titanium white. I am going to flood my canvas and I'll be right back. Everybody. So I have flooded the canvas and you know, as I was flooding it, I was thinking to myself, I should have put a white bead of paint in between the yellow and the blue to separate them. I should have done that. I thought about it after I had done it, but this is the first time I'm doing something like this with two colors that could potentially turn green. So um, it is what it is, but I'm hoping that I can blow this out with enough of this, these white pearl paints um, so that I don't get green. We shall see, I will, I will see. So let's start off with the Amsterdam Pearl Yellow. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to really, um, you know, load this on here. And I really hope I can make this work because I really, really want this to work out. And then I will do a wispy going this way and a wispy going this way. I'm gonna add a little more. So now I'm thinking for the wispies, I could technically add yellow in between um, and then blue here just to break it up. See, I'm already seeing green. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Um, do I add a little yellow into that just to break up between like that just a bit and then I can do blue in between here like that I guess. Um, okay and now I'm going to add the titanium white. All right. So we'll see how it turns out. I'm trying right? I figured I would try this out and just see what happens. I might get green. I probably will get green, but uh, it is what it is. We'll see how it uh, blows out. All right, and then I guess I'll add some blue again up here over the white, just a little bit, and a little bit of yellow over the white. And then adding the pearl blue. So we're back from the weekend getaway with the kids. Um, had a great time. Took them to uh, Great Wolf Lodge. I've never been there before. I'll probably never go there again. <laughs> it's so expensive. It's insane. But as long as the kids had fun, that's all that matters, right? Anyways, we ended up boarding the dogs for two nights at a kennel and brought them home on Sunday and Echo is sick as a dog, um, which is really disappointing. He's very sick. I actually had to take him to the vet this morning. Uh, he's now gonna be on antibiotics. Um, he's He had a really nasty accident this morning at 5 a.m. on my area rug. Um, and uh, I had to roll up the area rug and throw it out. And luckily it was garbage day today because the garbage truck took it. And uh, I hope to never smell that again. <laughs> so 
poor Echo, he's so sick. And uh, the vet bill was not fun either, let me tell you. Anyways, um, okay, so I'm gonna blow this out and hope and pray like I can already, I wish I had done a, a white strip in between separating the blue and the yellow. Ah, can't change it now. So it is what it is. Um, I'm going to do my best to try and separate the blue and the yellow. Like you can already see it here, which really sucks. But oh, well, let's uh, blow it out and see what happens. Well, I got the blue to stay blue and white. I did not get the yellow to stay yellow and white. Um, there's obviously green in it. So I'm a little bummed that I did not think about that better. Um, if I had done a border in between separating the yellow and the blue of white first, it would have been so much better. Now I'm debating whether I should, I don't have enough yellow. I would have to make another batch of yellow. And um, I don't know. It's really pretty though. Like I really like this part up here. It's really nice. And then I've got all this green down here. And I wonder if there's any way I can make that go away. But I don't think so. That's the problem. Um, I can sit here and play with it and try and erase all the blue, which I seem to be doing right now, actually. Um, and the green out of here. But it would take a long time for me to fidget with this and um, try and get all the green off. Right? Yeah. Oh, I don't know what to do if I should just leave it. Just trying to get rid of this little strip of green here. Okay. And then Well, that worked. <laughs> so the green's gone there, but I can't really do it all over here. That's just not going to work. So helped a little bit I wonder if I should just play around with it a little bit more I really love the top half and the bottom half would have been so perfect if I could have just kept the blue out of the yellow I should have done what I said and just um put a white border in between okay I am going to touch up my edges and I'm going to bring you guys in for a close-up. Be right back. All right, everybody. So here you have it. Now I have already gone ahead and scraped my drips. So don't forget, 
Look, I just did it like a couple minutes ago and there's already a drip there. So that's why you have to do it a couple of times. So don't forget to scrape your drips. Now let's, I was going to, believe it or not, scrape the yellow part off camera. And then you know what, the more I looked at it, the more I actually really liked it and I didn't want to redo it. I just think it looks fine. I know there's a little green in there, but you can really look at it and say, hey, it's more like blue, I guess. I don't know. Either way, I do like it and I love this part up here. This worked out really, really well. I'm really happy with this and I really do hope that um, someone out there likes it and would like to purchase it. Um, and as I mentioned, all the proceeds of this painting, um, once it sells, will go to the Canadian Red Cross. Um, okay, I'm going to bring you guys in for a close up with the flash on. Be right back. All right, everybody. So I've got the flash on. Now, there's obviously the pearl in here, the pearl yellow and the pearl blue. So obviously, this is going to have to dry before um, we'll get to see any of that yellow or blue shimmer from the pearls. There's definitely shimmer happening in here, as always. It is pretty. There's a little bit of green, but that's okay. I'm over it. See, there's the yellow. You see the yellow in there? There's definitely pearl yellow. Wow, this part looks really pretty. Yep. It's going to look nice when it dries, for sure. So there you have it, everybody. Um, if anyone is interested in this 16 by 20 inch canvas, you can email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com. Um, so... If you've seen, I, like I said, I don't know if I, I'm going to put the video of the dried pieces in the sun after my intro or at the end of this video, but a few of them are available for purchase. If you are interested in any of those pieces that are labeled available for purchase, again, you can email me to inquire pricing and to purchase. Um, that's it for now. Everything you need to know is listed in the description below. Don't forget the Loli Veffy sale for the spring fling box kit. Um, that is on sale and I will put that in the link in the description below as well. Save an extra 10% using code Canela10. Fluid art escape with Tammy and I. Info for that. Email us. And that's it. Everything you need to know is in the description below. So that is it for me for now. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.